How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to download games and apps on your Galaxy S3. What you're going to do is go to your apps, which is right here. And you want to find the Play Store. You may have to swipe over a couple of screens, but we are looking for the Play Store. Once you see that, it's a little white shopping bag, actually. Go ahead and tap on that and it will take you to the Play Store. And this is where we're going to find everything from games, apps, to also movies, TV shows, music, books, and um, you can download even newspapers as well. For what we're going to do, we're going to go to apps. But you did notice there is a game section as well. So actually, let's go there first. So tap games. And so in games, we have... A lot of different things we can look at. So, for some of you guys, you may say, I'm looking for a specific game. And so, I want to go over that method first. And then I want to show you how to just look for other really cool games, too. So, if you're looking for a specific game, we want to come to the upper right corner and click on this little magnifying glass right here. Tap on there. And then we can type in a game that we want or we can just say it. Now, by saying it, we will just tap on this little uh, microphone right here. Solitaire. And so the voice search is very accurate, so you could just say it, and then you could just search right through here and look at all the different Solitaire games, okay? And then if we want to go back to search something different, all we have to do is tap the little X that is now in the upper right corner. That will clear out what's in there, and then we can do another search. So I'm going to tap the microphone again. Candy Crush Saga. And there we go. So for you Candy Crush fans, you can just uh, say Candy Crush. You can you could say Candy Crush. You don't have to say Saga. I just want to say the whole title. But so that's just how you would voice search a game. And then upper right corner, click on the X again. That will clear that out of the search. And then um, maybe you say, "Well, I'm trying to say it, and that's not working, so I just want to type it in." No problem. We just tap right in there. The keyboard will come up, and then we'll type in the game. So. Uh, we could type in dominoes. There's some cool domino games, actually. And then we'll hit the magnifying glass down here, and that will search it for us. And so uh, one of the really great domino games I play is it's domino, and it has an exclamation point. So let's go ahead and tap on it. So let's say you're looking for domino games. You want to see if this is a good one. So uh, you'll see the title here, and then you'll see here pictures of what the game looks like okay so uh if you want to see what gameplay is like you can tap on those pictures and then it'll give you a snapshot so this is like what a typical game is like we can swipe over look at the scoring how the scoring works and the different uh game settings you can play when you're done we're going to go ahead and tap on the back arrow which is right next to the home button right here just tap to your right and that will take us back. Now maybe you say, this game looks cool, but I don't want that one. That's okay. You can go ahead and tap the back again, which is to the right of the home button. And now we're back on this screen. Okay, so that's how you would search for a specific game. Maybe if you want to find like a domino game or solitaire or something to that effect. But some of you may say, well, I don't really know what I want to play. I just want to see what's out there. And that's a great way to, to approach it as well. So we're going to tap that back arrow again, which is to the right of the home button. Press it again. Press it again. And we're on the game section. And it will say games right up here. So you can actually just swipe right in here. Or if your swipe isn't great, you can just tap on the topics that are up here. So up here we have home. We have top page. These are the top games that cost money. You can look at the top, like, 25. Fruit Ninja, Where's My Water, Grand Theft Auto. Um, a lot of different games. The Sims. Maybe you say I'm cheap. I don't want to get a pay game. I want to get a free game. No problem. So let's tap on Top Free. And now we've got Candy Crush. We have Subway Surfers, which is a spinoff of Temple Run. Uh, ultimate puzzle and again if you stop at the game and say that sounds interesting let me see a little bit more about it we're just going to tap on it and we're going to look at our pictures this one actually has a video because it has uh, 
a long screen and a little circle with a play button so we can actually tap there and play a video and see what live gameplay looks like. Or we can just swipe over and we've got a couple of other uh, pictures right here to see what the app looks like. What you can also look at to see if a, a, uh, a game is good is uh, how many downloads. So this game currently has 10 million plus downloads right here. We can, right on this line, we can see that. 10 million okay and then um, we have a description here and then we can look at the rating so this game is rated 4.3 the average user says hey this game is almost uh, amazing five being a top score uh, one being a low score so 4.3 is good and then you can actually read reviews of people you can see what their experience has been like do I like it do I not like it um, and there you have it. You can also, lastly, you can bookmark it. There's a little um, little bookmark here with a plus. If you tap there, you can save the game and come back later. Maybe you don't want to download it now, but you can come back to it later. Um, so we'll go ahead and back arrow here. Now, so we've looked at our top paid apps, our top free apps, and now we have our top grossing apps, which are the apps that have, have made the most money. And so we have like Pet Rescue, Slot uh, slot Mania, uh, we have Empire 4, we have The Simpsons Tap Out, which is a really popular game, Bingo, for people looking for simple games like that, Puzzles, Casino, a lot of casino games, you know, even your video poker you'll find on here. Um, next we'll have Top New Paid Apps, so these are apps that have just come out that are paid. We got our SpongeBob, Mike Shorts, Minecraft, couple there, and then we have our top new apps that are free. So you have a lot of different lists of just apps you can look through and games to kind of see what you like. And I encourage you, like, go through the free apps first and find, um, just find a couple and just download them. Because, like, for example, let's say you want to get Flappy Birds. Okay, tap on the app. And let's say we've seen the pictures and it looks pretty good. 500,000 downloads. If you're ready to get the app, you're going to just tap on this green button that says install. Tap there and then you're going to tap accept. And then it will begin to download the app onto your phone. Okay. So it's a really simple process. Um, that's how you get like the free games. If it's a paid app, it looks a little bit different. Let's find one so you can see it. Let's say you wanted to get... Um, this word search master app okay you're gonna tap on it now this game is only one dollar so you would tap on see right here it doesn't say install it actually says one dollar so we would tap on one dollar and then it would ask if you want to continue and then here is where it would actually ask you to um, to pay so you, you do have to actually hit buy if you haven't put a credit card on your account there will be an option where you can add a credit card first and then it will automatically deduct it from that credit card. Um, and in most cases, it will ask you for an, uh, a password as well, which is your Android account password. Now, the cool thing, too, is let's say we hit buy and we bought the app. After you buy it and it downloads, you'll have another box that pops up here and it will say refund. You can actually return the app within 15 minutes if you decide that you don't like it. So if there's a paid app that you really think looks cool, you think you'll like it, you can buy it. But play it quick. So you can see if you actually want the app. And if you don't, again, right above the screen button, you'll see a refund button. You can tap there and it will refund the money right back to your card. That's one of the really cool advantages of Android over iOS, which is like iPhones and iPod Touches. It's because once you bought it, there is no way to refund it. Even if you don't like it, even if you bought it by accident, it doesn't matter. So, but make sure you take advantage of that 15 minutes because after 15 minutes, you're done. There is no way to go back and... Um, refunded after 15 minutes so keep that in mind um, we're gonna go back back and again we found all those just in the game section you'll actually notice that the app section and game sections are very similar they're almost practically the same thing you know but you can tap on one of those two again we tapped on games um, if we go all the way to the the left we have a category section. This is the last way you can search for your apps, uh, specifically your games. So we can look at arcade and action, brain and puzzle, card and casino, casual. Let's see what's under the casual section. 
The cool part is once we go into casual, it breaks it down into casual categories. So uh, you'll have top paid, again, you'll have top free, top gross, and you'll have all those same categories, but uh, all those are under casual. We can then go back and say, what about just card and casino games? Well, then it's going to show you the top 10 or the top paid just card and casino games, the top free card and casino, you know, so it's very specific to that section. So this will really give you an idea of, of how to search for your games. Some of you guys may say, again, I know exactly what kind of game I want. I just want to see if it's there. Other people are going to say, I just want to see what's out there. And this is kind of how you maneuver that. Okay. If you are looking for just basic apps, you can just go to the app section and you can uh, go to that same section, which is all the way on the left categories, but your section will be different. You actually have more options to choose from. These are just specific apps. Okay. So the first half of the video was just all games specifically, and this is just how you find basic apps. You can again use the search magnifying glass right here. You can speak it or you can type in a specific app you're looking for and download it like that as well. But this has been how to download. Uh, games and apps on your Galaxy S3. And I hope you guys found this helpful. I tried to be very thorough and make sure I really showed all the ways you can do it. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video as well. Subscribe to HG Tech videos and keep watching, alright? Have a good one.